In a previous short video, I did a demonstration with my hands remaining dry under running water. Why? So let's get into this. When it comes to the lightest known solid substances, usually styrofoam comes to mind. But did you know there's another solid substance that is many times lighter than styrofoam? I am talking about aerogel. Aerogel is one of the lightest solid substances ever made. It is mostly a light blue translucent substance that almost looks like frozen smoke. It is primarily used to collect dust particles in space and for its insulation properties. This is due to the aerogel being a poor conductor of heat and it is made up mostly of gas. This 2 gram aerogel slab is strong enough to support a 2.5 kilogram brick but it is also brittle and fragile if too much pressure is applied just like you see here. Aerogel can be anywhere from 50 to 99.9 percent .9 air but this sample that I have here is 99.9 percent .9 air. The air pockets within the aerogel are around 100 nanometers wide. For comparison, that is one ten thousandth of the width of a human hair. The average human hair is 100,000 nanometers wide. When initially formed, the liquid part is replaced with air while the solid portion of the aerogel remains intact, resulting in an ultralight porous substance. At this point, the aerogel is no longer a gel, but a solid, a very light solid. For comparison, styrofoam density is around 0.05 grams per cubic centimeter or 1 20th of a gram. Aerogel densities can range from ultra light at 0.001 gram or 1 milligram per cubic centimeter to a little bit heavier at a tenth of a gram per cubic centimeter. Styrofoam is 10 to 50 times heavier than most aerogels. There are other substances out there that are lighter than aerogels. Aerographite's density is 0.18 milligrams per cubic centimeter. That's about one-fifth lighter than your lightest aerogels. Aerographene is considered the lightest substance at 0.16 milligrams per cubic centimeter. Here I have a 30 milliliter bottle of silica aerogel chunks. Some chunks are as large as a half a centimeter and some are as small as dust particles. Let's put a couple of pieces of styrofoam on the scale. These pieces weigh around probably about one fifth of a gram total for these two pieces. Now let's start putting chunks of aerogel onto the scale and I'm using the largest chunks that we have. It doesn't even register on the scale at all. These chunks combined weigh less than a tenth of a gram. And here you can actually see the blue smoky color. If you crush aerogel, it will turn into a fine dust. Also, aerogel is hydrophobic, which means it's a water repellent. Here, I put some sand sized particles into a cup of water. Watch. Now I will put my finger into the cup with the aerogel particles floating on the top. Some are as small as dust particles. Now when I pull my finger out, my finger is dry due to the water repellent properties of aerogel. As the water runs on my palm, it is repelled by a thin coating of aerogel dust. My palm is completely dry as a result of the water repellent properties of aerogel. This is the cup with the aerogel particles floating on top, including dust particles. If I wanted to remove the aerogel on top, all I have to do is pour the water out and most of the aerogel remains and stays dry. Thanks for watching.